Welcome to Forge Build. I don't even know what number video this is. Well, I do think it's video number four, but whatever number it is, it is brought to you by our friends at Hard Luck Forge, who has supplied all of the castable and fire bricks and everything that uh, I've been using to make this forge. Um, the insulating wool and all that. All right, so for uh, this rigidizer that I put on that is uh, now dry, I need to heat that up. I got my weed burner, and uh, I'm going to fire this up and just heat this puppy up. Alright, so everything's cooled off now, and um, yeah, that rigidizer, once it's baked on there, man, it, that rigidizes. It's, it's really quite crackly almost. So, I've got uh, some five pound bags of Castellite 30. I'm going to mix these up uh, five pounds at a time. I don't think I'm going to need, I've got 20 pounds worth. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm going to need 20 pounds. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need, but that seemed like an awful lot. But uh, I'm going to start off with five pounds at a time. Uh, it is three ounces of water. So, you know, one of these little medicine cups, basically, or three of these little medicine cups for every pound of Castellite 30. Um, if you go to Hard Luck Forge, you can get mixing instructions and everything you need to help you out with that. Um, it'll, it'll show you exactly, you know, how to mix it, how to cure it, and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead, dump all five pounds into a tub here, put in 15 of these little cups of water, and mix it all together by hand. Wear gloves, um, and hopefully it'll come out the right consistency.
So before we uh, continue with this, let me tell you about Hard Luck Forge and encourage you to go visit them for all of your refractory, for your insulating wool, for your fire bricks, for your rigidizer, everything you need to put together a forge. They've got complete forges, they've got burners, that you can you can do a whole project yourself with everything you buy there. You can get parts for what you need. I mean, they've, they've got everything you need and it's free shipping, so you're not going to beat the price. So there it is, final skim coat. I touched it up a little bit where it looked like uh, that uh, Castellite 30 was uh, cracking a little bit. But uh, we got the floor and then it runs up the sides a little bit. And hopefully I left enough space in there for the fire bricks to fit back in. But I don't want to put them in until the castable is set so that uh, they don't just stick in there. I also noticed that I may have gone too light on these hinges. Um, I may, you know, thankfully it's just the doors and I can fabricate more hinges anytime, but I'm thinking I may have to do like, I may have to actually make some hinges like you would on a wood fireplace, you know, a, a big sturdy hinge on top and a hinge on the bottom and have the door swing wider because these little things I just don't think are going to hold up real long and I think that's where we're going to leave off for now um, I've still got to let this cure for another 24 hours and then uh, we can start firing it real slowly we just got to build the heat really slowly the Greencast 94 I was reading you know has a much slower heating up process than the um, the Castellite 30, but the Castellite 30 will still respond, I think, to uh, the slower process, because, I mean, eventually we'll we'll get to the right temperature for both of them, but, oh my gosh, this has been, whew, this has been uh, the most stressful part of this whole thing, is getting this refractory to stick and to mold and to act right, and I'm hoping this curing part if you if you screw that up you know everything cracks and start over so um, I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this sit for a good 24 hours um, maybe 48 hours I'm, I'm really kind of running out of time so I I can't waste too much more but I also don't want to rush this part this is the part you can't rush if you rush this part you screw everything up so anyways I'm gonna end it here uh, if you would like to see more in-depth coverage, watch the Patreon video. You can go sign up for my Patreon. There's a link in the description below um, for as little as a buck a month. And you'll see every struggle, every thought process I went through with this. And there was a lot more than what I could put in the YouTube video. So um, you can go check that out. Um, otherwise, I will catch you on the next video when we fire this thing. Um, and, and cure the refractory and figure out how to mount the burners and just get one step closer. Still got to paint it too. So um, we'll get there. We're, we're, we're closer. And every day it's one more step. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.